this is going to be another quick one. Today we're going to be covering dictionaries. So, what is a dictionary? A dictionary is basically a variable of variables. Um, a vector 2 could be considered a dictionary um, because if we access a vector 2 we can get an x and we can get a y from it. Um, we will be basically making a vector 2. That's basically what a dictionary is. So in our singleton.gd we're going to create a function to do this for us. So we're going to be doing this for our current Pokemon that's in our roster. So uh, and we're going to take a underscore health, an underscore stamina, an underscore XP, and underscore level. Now, I could take a lot more than this, but Pokemon um, Mathematics, we call it that, is very, very complex. Like, next level complex. Um, so if I ever get around to implementing it into it, uh, then we will be doing it after we've implemented all the features, because that could be its own series by itself. It is possibly some of the most complex RPG elements in a game ever, um, but it should be fairly easily implemented even if I don't go. So all we're going to do is return a if we use these curly brackets this means we're going to be um creating a dictionary variable and the dictionary variable is going to have the bounds health equals underscore health stamina why am i doing stamina stamina is not a pokemon stat <laughs> xp equals underscore xp and level equals underscore level. Uh, we'll probably be adding to this as we go along. Uh, but right now, to so to create a... Oh, we will probably want a name as well. So name equals underscore name. Um, so right now we can access it by just using dots so uh funk will just print out ready and we want to print it current pokemon and we'll call this jeff the 100 hp zero xp level one and we print that and it will oops Oops. Uh, and then we run that. And look. It prints out the stats of the Pokemon. We can access them individually. By. If we just add this to a variable. Var P equals. Print. E dot name. Jeff. And you can understand why this is quite useful. So, we'll be getting into more complex stuff next time. Hopefully. <laughs> See you then.